So since this week is a free week and I don't have anything to talk to you about besides how much pain I'm in <laughs> and how driving back from Indiana sucked so hard those last two hours, like physically I might have cried a little bit on the way home. So I don't want to talk about sad things today in this video. I want to talk about things that make me happy and things that I've been really enjoying this summer and you might be completely bored and think this is just going to be completely vain and girly and embrace it. So this is the makeup section of the video. So this summer for some reason I've started to embrace makeup. I don't know why it took me this long to become a girl apparently. Um, I think it's mostly the influence of hanging out with the makeup gurus. I'm too cheap to buy foundation and I'm too lazy to put foundation on and it's way too hot in Michigan to even think about foundation. So I found a new alternative which is I just take tinted moisturizer and I just put it on with a brush or whatever, blend it in. And then I just set it with powder. It's like light enough that it's not melting off my face and I'm dying because it's just such heavy foundation. But it's also, it like evens out my skin a little bit because I am very Irish and I have very pink and red undertones to my skin. And it's not very even, so it's like, I don't know, it just makes, it makes it a little glowy, it makes it a little even. I got this little smoky eyes palette by Pop, I think. And this color is my color. All I do is I just put that in my crease and I just smoke it out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be wearing it at Shannon's wedding. I'm gonna wear it for everything because it just works. Me and Justine, JP Metz, uh, had a discussion about these. I started trying to use these little gel liners, this little Maybelline Eye Studios, and they're just, you know, they come like this. And they're very scary at first because you're like, I will screw this up because I do not have the best, you know, steady hands. So, but I've been messing around with those and those have been fun. Face wipes. These ones smell really good and I really like, or also because I'm cheap and I don't want to spend a bunch of money on face wipes, I get baby wipes. And those work just as good as taking off makeup and things like that. These new L'Oreal Go 360 Clean Facial Cleansers. And so it's just face wash, but then they come with these little things that come out and they're like scrubbers. They have, I don't know if you guys can see, probably not. There's like little rubber things on there. So you put it on and then you scrub it in your face and so it exfoliates it. I don't know, it makes my skin feel very clean <laughs> and good, which is good in the summer, when, especially when you want to take four showers a day because it's so humid in Michigan. This summer I've been really, well, especially with the back injury, I've been reading or trying to read. So I've read a lot of bad books this summer, but I've also read some really, really good books. And one of my favorites, and I know people are going to talk shit about this, but Gabby mentioned it in her video on Saturday, and it's Eat, Pray, Love. And I need to go see this movie, like, immediately, because A, Javier Bardem, in my mouth, yes. B, there's no B, it's pretty much Javier Bardem, but this book was really, really good, and I know that it's chiclet, and people will talk, whatever they want to talk, but Time Traveler's Wife, people talked a bunch of shit about, and Time Traveler's Wife is one of my favorite books. I don't need something that's super avant-garde and whatever. I like a good love story, I like angst, and I like it to be somewhat believable and not with some really bad sex scene, which a lot of them seem to have really poorly written sex scenes. This is just very good, and it makes me want to travel. There are just a lot of quotes in this book and things that I really liked, and I feel, I feel like if a book makes you want to be a better person, or it makes you want to discover things about yourself, or the author says things that just kind of resonate with you, there are things that you've thought before or that you believe but you've never found the words to say them, I think it's a good book, and I like this book a lot. So I've been a little obsessed with the Jane Austen lately. I, I don't know what, why. I think I've just been watching Lost in Austin, and I kind of want my life to be that. I want to walk into Pride and Prejudice and have Mr. Darcy fall in love with me. You know, like without the whole women are less than men and they're kind of property and, you know, the infant mortality rate. Besides those things, I had to buy it. The world of her novels, Jane Austen. I was at a half price bookstore, so things were cheap. Had to get it. It kind of breaks up the different books, and it talks about. It like kind of depicts what the characters might have looked like or compares them to real people that have similar social standing or similar lives. Right here, it talks about the fashion. It talks about the places that these stories would have taken place. And so it has maps, it has pictures of homes that these stories would have taken place in. Something else that I've been really enjoying this summer and I think that all of you should be doing is watching foreign movies. This was when I was going through a very run little run period in my life, so I got Princess and the Warrior, um, Intacto, which I really like. I had to write a paper about it and do a presentation in a film noir class in college. 
good. And this one, which I just love because it's so gorgeous, uh, Love Me If You Dare. So I feel like they're good to watch like on a warm summer night, ice cream, foreign movies, if I had friends, maybe friends. And finally, something that I've been doing a lot of this summer um, and I recommend for you guys to do too is it's really hard for me to keep track of all the things that I need to do and all the things I need to be thinking about um, without writing lists and then I tend to misplace lists and it's just a fail cycle. So what I do is... Um, you see all these 3x5 cards that I have just sitting around my desk? Um, all those 3x5 cards have something listed on them that I want to do whether it's something as simple as doing laundry, uh, cleaning my room, reorganizing things, booking a tour, um, working out, whatever. And then I have like questions to ask myself, especially in regards to music and things that I want to do, like who do you sound like and how are you different? And just things to think about. Um, and they're always kind of in my face because they're just surrounding my desk. So whenever I'm sitting here doing a video or whenever I'm just, you know, doing whatever over here, I'm always passing them, I'm always seeing them. So it's easier for me to keep things in my head and to remember the goals that I've set for myself. And they're just easy because you just, you know, take them off, put them down. Um, but yeah, so that's my way of kind of organizing my mind. If you want to tell me some of the things that you've been really enjoying this summer, things that I should be on the lookout for, please leave them below in the comments. And I will see you all next week. Bye.